Hey everyone, I've already created a few videos covering some great AI-powered tools in DaVinci Resolve like Face Refinement, Depth Map or Relight Effects, so if you are interested in them you can easily find them on my channel. But today I want to show you some AI tools in Resolve that are not that popular but can speed up your workflow and improve the quality of your videos. So without further ado, let's move to the first one. And the first tool I want to show you today is called Super Scale and it allows to upscale low resolution footage to higher resolutions while maintaining the image quality. And here I have this HD clip of a girl listening to the music and I want to make it 4K. So let's find the right frame and let's zoom in quite a lot as I want you to be able to see properly how the tool works. Now let's open the inspector and here at the bottom we have our super scale. So let's enable it and let's increase the sharpness and the noise reduction to maximum. And this is before and after. It's a huge difference as the software basically analyzes the image and enhances the details, resulting in sharper and more refined output. The next tool I want to show you is called Auto Reframe. And this tool uses AI to automatically reframe and resize footage for different aspect ratios, making it easier to adapt for various platforms. So here I have a clip of a girl on the longboard and I want to crop it to be able to upload it to Instagram as a reel. So first I have to change its resolution from 16.9 to 9.16. So let's open the media pool and let's right click on the timeline. Then let's go to timelines and timeline settings. Then let's deselect use project settings. And now we are able to set the timeline resolution to whatever we want to. So I'll pick custom and I'll make it 1080 1920 as this is the right resolution for the Instagram reel. And I will hit OK. And now when we play the clip, we can see that the main subject is not perfectly in the frame. And to be able to fix it, normally we would have to create keyframes manually and move it around. But fortunately, thanks to AI, DaVinci Resolve will quickly do it for us. So let's open the Inspector tab. And let's go to Smart Reframe. And here we can set the object of interest. We can use the auto mode, it works quite well, but in case we have more than one person or objects in the frame, we can also set the reference point manually. So I would do it, and here I'll basically make sure that this reference point is on my main subject, and then I'll simply hit reframe button, and the software will analyze our clip. So now the girl is in the middle of the frame throughout the whole clip. And we can also open the keyframes here to be able to see how the software has created the keyframes and how it's done its magic. And the last tool I want to show you today is a quick object removal. And let's say that here I want to remove that teacup from the table. And it's very easy to do. We have to draw a mask around the object first. So I'll go to the power windows, I'll grab a custom mask and I will draw it around the object. Then I have to track it as this is a moving shot. And now let's go to the effects and let's search for the object removal. Now let's drop it onto our node. And now we have to run scene analysis so the tool can analyze the shot. And now our mask is gray as we have to change the clean plate source. We can choose between internal or external, it depends on the clip. I will pick internal and then I will just hit build clean plate and voila. The result looks great, this is before and after. But please note that the effectiveness of the object removal tool may vary depending on the complexity of the scene and the object being removed. 
It works best when the object doesn't move too much and is placed in a clean environment. Thanks so much for watching my videos, guys. I hope that you like them. If you do, hit subscribe and don't forget to leave a comment below. See you soon.